forests are the backbone for life in our planet. And I'm always very curious about forests. It was my passion since I was uh, very young. So I decided to study forests and then uh, to take my scientific career to explore what they can offer to humanity for the future. 90% of the deforestation globally is linked to agriculture. It's the conversion of forests to agricultural fields because they are in the short term more profitable. We have 800 million people that go hungry to sleep every day. The same millions, 800 millions, that are facing obesity problems. So we are facing all this paradox, but it's very important that we decouple the functioning of our economy from our addiction to consumption. So a priority to avoid deforestation should emphasize that our forests have also an economic value. That if we bring technology, innovation, proper sustainable forest management, we can transform our forest in very valuable products. Nowadays, people are buying 60% more clothes than 15 years ago, as an average, globally. These clothes are lasting half the time than 15 years ago. The fashion industry is a $2 trillion business, but at the end of the day, it's also one of the greatest offenders because it is responsible for between 4 to 8% of the global carbon emissions. And this is very much connected to the type of materials that we are using in the fashion industry. 65% of the materials are linked to oil-based products like polyester. 25% is cotton, but cotton nowadays is produced in a non-sustainable way. When we established the Circular Bioeconomy Alliance, it was a rather abstract concept. It's about replacing a linear fossil economy that has dominated the last 200 years by a new economy where we place nature at its center. So in order to explain that new concept, we needed projects on the ground. We have a fantastic living lab in the Himalayas in India, where we are restoring degraded land where the Pashmina goat has been living for a thousand years. The Pashmina goat provides the best cashmere for the fashion industry. So what we are doing is connecting fashion companies with local communities so that we can restore the landscapes for the Kashmir. And at the same time, we are demonstrating how we can grow cotton and silk using regenerative farming techniques. So that then we will be able to provide the raw materials for the fashion industry in a sustainable way while creating jobs for the local communities. With the Regenerative uh, Fashion Manifesto, we wanted to demonstrate that it is possible to put forward a new fashion industry that is based on regenerative approaches producing cotton, using regenerative farming, producing new textile fibers based on wood, is possible, or bamboo. We have the technology to do that. The issue now is to scale up all these technologies so that they become a fashion reality. Banks have always played crucial transformational roles in all the big moments of history. I feel that now is the moment also for bankers and banks to be visionaries and to lead the change. And I feel that Lombardia is one of these banks that is having a vision for the future with sustainability at its center.